Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. We're here today again for another Alteza. This time, how do you call it, Viber? Rewind? Yeah. Okay. So we're back here. Another six cylinder Alteza with Vibert's old supercharger setup, the SC14 supercharger, top mount, the hood as well. Vibert is under there. What are you doing, Vibert? I'm um, removing the radiator so we can install the pulley. So our supercharger can make some smoke today. <laughs> okay, so he's swapping out this pulley is going to go to a slightly bigger one so that you can get some more boost out of the supercharger but essentially we're going to be well the supercharger is already installed um, we're going to be wiring up a speed of v0.4 onto it um, hook up our white band bang hook up the white band and hopefully tune by the end of the day all right vibert yep all right all right so at the end of day one, Viber is still here. So we pretty much done with the installation. As you can see, we have the Speedwino harness coming here, running up alongside here. And this is done. Supercharger installed, but the charge pipe is not connected. And on the inside, if we move here, we have Speedwino connected. Still need to tidy up in there, but Viber is going to start. Timing has already been synced from the previous installation. I've been about 900 RPM. No white band is installed just yet. So it's on the Speedwino base map. 1 GFE, 6 cylinder base map. So, next up, we're going to need to install a white band bang and white band bang, install the white band and do some tuning. But in a little bit, we're going to go for a quick road test to make sure the base map is good enough so that he can get home. And then, after that, we're going to pick up with day two for the Tune in. Supercharger off and uh, supercharger clutch off and uh, intercooler piping off, so it's pretty well tuned. Any right now, we just did a couple runs, low ignition, just getting the fuel dialed. Um, yeah, so we, we're getting the fuel dialed. So, next up, we're going to just do a couple data logs. It's currently making about six pounds of boost. FL ratios are pretty conservative, so we're gonna keep knocking that out and then we're gonna try the first on ignition at it and then we'll give you guys some footage when we get to that point. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's a bit windy. So after about, about an hour, um, I got the hopefully it's not too late. Just turn this over. Yeah, so we got the boost section pretty pretty well dialed 
it's for now we're targeting about uh, I think it's low 12 the FL ratio it's making about six pound levels uh, so it's a bit conservative tag is still very conservative so let me show you what we're doing now uh, the car is parked letting it pull off a bit you can see supercharger intercooler not so we're letting it cool off a bit we're gonna throw in some fresh plug because we did the tuning on some wall plugs and then we i already began doing some ignition timing but i'm gonna finish off the ignition timing with some fresh set of a fresh set of plugs which is pretty much the only way you can do ignition timing is by pulling plugs when there is not a dyno present or any any knock not knock detect knock detection all right so i'm gonna pick up I'm gonna throw in a couple of clips when I'm done here and we're gonna wrap it up for the day. Okay, so we forgot the filler gauges. So we're gonna use the next best thing. A file from a tunnel clipper. Gonna use that. So it looks about to be 25 tau. <laughs> 25 tau. <laughs> so we're gonna gap it to one tunnel clipper file with 25 tau. Or a poil of guitar. caption to the video since I'm just about editing it so a couple of things I did not mention in the video the car is a bone stock as in stock internal Toyota Altezza it's an automatic um, transmission car I think they are four-speed automatic um, he pretty much bought the supercharger setup from Vibert which was the orange um, IS 200 Altezza they're pretty much the same car um, so he pretty much bought that supercharger setup. He got the supercharger, the top on intercooler, the bonnet which Vibert um, modified or customized with a hood scoop, and the uh, Speedwino V0.4 with the harness I already previously made. So Vibert is selling that car. Well, the white car you saw in the video, the guitar is actually Vibert's new car. So he's trying to sell off the old one. He took off the supercharger and the uh, and, uh, ECU just so you can sell it separately so that you can make some some extra cash um, The car Hensler's car the silver car which we did the installation on it's a relatively new car to Hensler He bought it recently um, as you can tell in the video that 
um, from the time we installed the ECU, well, from the initial drive, we could hear what sounded like the transmission was whining and whatnot, and that got progressively worse over the, the days to follow. The video was filmed over a couple of days. I think about three days or after the supercharger, the, the transmission finally died. So he's going to be replacing that transmission uh, again. Uh, I'm not sure when and where that transmission got damaged but it came in with a bad transmission and of course the supercharger just exposed all the weaknesses it had um but essentially that's it um he pretty much which pretty much just installed the, the supercharger and the v0.4 like i've shown you guys a couple times previously but other than that um you saw from the quarter mile races it raced against vibrant stop car um the last run which was the the run where you had the five slab or the hundred feet head start um he would end up beating vibert's white car by about four to five car lengths so it's pretty impressive again it's not the fastest car in the world but it's a pretty fun car considering the little investment he has in it so the next step is to replace the transmission and to try and get some more boost out of it with a better intercooler and a bit more fuel because on that five five and a half psi i believe it was making um, we pretty much maxed out the factory injectors so he's gonna go he's gonna try to add some more fuel in there front one intercooler to keep temps more consistent and should be back pretty soon with a update video all right i hope you guys enjoyed um I'll try to make a bit more of this when I do the installations. Again, as you saw, it's very difficult to remember to pick up the camera when I'm doing the installations. I'm usually just trying to fresh away at it and get it going. So uh, hopefully I can get some more installation and tuning videos of the many cars that come in and out of the tuning scene for me, remotely or in person. So hopefully I can capture some of these for you guys and we'll get it on future videos. Right? Thanks for watching and stay safe. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.